Welcome back to NASCAR Race Hub on FS1. I'm Adam Alexander. Time for The Pulse with Dave Moody. This is where we are also live on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Dave, how are you? I'm great, Double A. How are you? Good. Looking forward to visiting with you today. But first, let's hear from some of your callers. Man, I'm going to tell you what, that was the best race I've ever seen. Dude, that rumble was fantastic. Never again will I miss that race. To the twits on Twitter, <laughs> talking about how bad this race was. Well, guess what, boys? Jimmy Johnson fix that for you. I don't have one problem with what Jimmy Johnson done. I thought what MTJ did was a classless move. Me as a Ryan Blaney fan, I'm glad to finally see Lady Luck shot down on him. I don't care who wins from here on out. I'm bitter and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Did you hear that, Dave? That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Yes, indeed. So last week you said the callers were all about the Roval. It sounds like this week the callers are, in fact, all about the Roval. All about the Roval. (laughs) There's no doubt about it. Uh, I would say... 90 to 95 percent are not just happy with what they saw. They're thrilled with what they saw. Uh, You know, I I, I talked uh, yesterday to the folks at Charlotte Motor Speedway and, uh, uh, you know, and and Marcus Smith said that after the race, people were lined up at the ticket office to buy tickets for next year's Roval. That's a pretty good sign. And, And as we see here, some really good reaction on social media from fans and what they thought about Sunday's first ever event on the Roval. And when you look at that race it was a cutoff eliminating some really good drivers from playoff contention jimmy johnson denny hamlin eric jones austin dillon what's been the reaction there well obviously jimmy johnson's elimination and the manner of that elimination has been a huge topic for conversation the armchair quarterbacks and the second guessers are out in force these last couple of days there's no doubt about that but there's also a very strong contingent of fans out there adam that say you know we We've been saying for years we want drivers to go for it and not take a good points day. We can't criticize Jimmy now for doing exactly what we've been asking for. Situations like that, easy to Monday morning quarterback, but at the end of the day, he's doing what we all want to see drivers do, and that is go after that checkered flag. Hey, let's move on a little bit. Talk about the 2019 rules package announced yesterday by NASCAR. What are fans saying there? They're encouraged. Um, They're not altogether sure what it's going to mean or how it's going to look because it is significantly different in some ways than what we saw at the All-Star Race. The All-Star Race was a big hit with the fans, as it should have been. Had more passing than we'd had in the previous three or four All-Star Races combined. Fans obviously would love to see more of that. The big complaint from the drivers have been has been the lack of throttle response and the fact that it was just a little too slow for their taste. Hopefully the substitution of the tapered spacer in place of the restrictor plate will cure that problem. If we can take the all-star race, multiply that by 36 in 2019, this will be awesome. Thanks, Dave. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Double A.